Hi, I'm Roger Merchant with Cortex Power and Energy, and today we're going to take apart the CyberPower UPS system, which is an uninterruptible power supply, and see how it works. A UPS system is an uninterruptible power supply. What it does is it takes a DC voltage from a battery, which is inside of this enclosure, and it converts it from a 12 volt DC voltage to 120 volt AC voltage through a circuit, which is also contained in here. And the best way to illustrate that is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unplug the uh, UPS from the, the uh, power cord. And we have two lamps. This little one here is being uh, driven by the UPS itself. And the other one is just straight through. So when I unplug this, this lamp turns off because the power has been uh, removed but this little light continues to run because it's being supplied by the battery inside of the uh, UPS, which is converting the 12 volt to 120 volt. So now we're gonna plug it back in. You might've heard a little click. It just basically switched over from the internal power supply back over to the, uh, to the line voltage. I uh, removed the power, shut everything down. Now we're going to go ahead and take it apart so we can have a look inside. And so the first thing we're gonna do I've already removed a screw here, so we can just go ahead and take this lid off. And we will start by removing this battery. There we go. So when the power is removed, the energy that was required to continue to run the light bulb was being supplied by this little battery, which is a 12 volt, what we call a 12 volt lead acid battery. It's kind of cute, uh, very compact. These are the connections to the uh, to the circuit that converts it from 12 volt DC to 120 volt AC. Now we'll start. By, let's take a look and see what's inside here. Oops. Always make sure that you have all power removed before taking anything apart to remove the possibility of electrical shock. There we go. Here is the. Uh, Interior view of the uh, UPS system. The battery compartment was located in here, the battery. And this is the actual circuit that converts the uh, 12 volt DC voltage into 120 volt AC. Power is emitted in on this side. And there's a number of, these are uh, power transistors. And uh, basically, this uh, little power supply is what is called an oscillator. Uh, it generates a uh, AC sine wave. So again, it just takes a, a uh, DC voltage, which like I said, is fed in positive and negative from the battery. It is uh, driven by, like I said, these uh, power transistors. And there's a little transformer here, which uh, passes the, uh, the AC voltage and like I said it starts uh, with the DC and it converts it to an AC and steps up the uh, the voltage to the um, desired voltage which in this case would be 120 volt uh, AC. Here's a, a relay that basically switches uh, from line the line voltage over to the internal internal voltage when uh, power is dropped. Maybe you have a blackout, line bump, uh, something like that. There's a little alarm piece of tweeter that will let you know if there's a problem. Uh, there's some regulation going on on the board. Up here, we have a uh, kind of your real basic around the mill um, passive surge protection and we have a couple of MOV metal oxide baristers which act as a surge surge suppressor, uh, fuse, so if it gets overcurrented, the fuse will blow and it protects, in principle, it protects the uh, circuit from damage. And then also a couple of little uh, phone jacks for protecting uh, phone lines. And then you have a LED that tells you the operating status of the uh, circuit. This here is a res uh, reset. Uh, it's kind of a resettable fuse or breaker. It uh, gets overcurrented, it'll kick out, and you just push that, and it 
resets it. But let's have a better look at the circuit board if we can. And like I said, everything is done on this board that converts the DC power to AC. And so that way you plug in a computer or various you know, small electrical loads. And if you lose your AC power, it keeps them running for, uh, you might have uh, oh, five, but no more than 10 minutes. And I would even kind of question whether you'd have 10 minutes. And again, that depends on the load. The, the larger the, the load, the shorter time you're gonna have to get everything either turned off or that the power is restored. We got this thing running now just simply on battery power alone. But as you can see, the battery is supplying the energy to the board here, which is converting the 12 volt to 120 volt, which is running our little uh, light bulb. And this let you know the status of the, uh, the circuit that it is uh, back running. And it's telling you that it is on standby power. So if we go ahead and remove the power, it shuts it down. Go ahead and start it up again. There it's running again. Kind of a cute little circuit. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comments in our video. Please feel free to subscribe. We'll have more uh, videos as uh, things progress. Thank you very much.